Hey guys, Jason here from Skeleton Key Tactical. We're up in Northern Idaho at this uh, top secret range facility with uh, Alien Gear Holsters doing some, uh, some good pistol skill development stuff for a couple of days. Um, I want to talk about the draw. We've been talking about the, you know, the basics of uh, our stance, our grip on the pistol, our side alignment, our trigger squeeze, our follow through. We're talking about all that stuff, but we haven't talked about the draw yet. How do we get from the gun in the holster to our start position to make our grip and get on the target and, and start launching some bullets? So let's, let's discuss this a little bit. We're going to break it down. Okay. If I'm standing here and I'm ready to, and I need to shoot, I'm going to get my pistol out, join my hands together, present the pistol get my sights aligned, get my finger on the trigger, do what I need to do to, to make the shot. So let's, let's break this down a little bit, step by step. Hand comes up to the pistol, and, and I realize that uh, not everybody wears their pistol in the same place, some a little bit higher. Some of you guys are in law enforcement, military, maybe you're wearing body armor. Um, you gotta understand that we're talking about this from the time your hand is on your gun in the right place, and you've engaged your retention device that keeps your pistol from falling out or keeps it from getting stolen or whatever. So we got to get to that point. Um, this translates over into doing concealed carry stuff, but I generally like to practice this most of the time while I'm on the range with a outside the waist holster, just because it's easier and it's safer and I can cover more ground than if I have to pull my shirt up and tuck it back into my appendix carry every time. This is just a little bit quicker. It's more efficient. Um, so we're going to come in, take your hand so it's just basically open, nothing major like this, just a relaxed hand open, straight down on the pistol. And what we want is to not open wide and just what I call uh, slap and wrap. We don't want to just blindly try and grab that thing. Let's get some sort of index. So as we come down, our hand starts to move along the side of the pistol and I can feel where I'm at. And as I'm going down, my hand opens up a little bit. I engage my uh, retention device so I can get my pistol out and then it's out. Once I get clear of the holster, the next thing I'm going to do is get it in front of me and get my other hand on it. I don't want to pull the pistol out and flag my hand, my non-shooting hand in the process of building my grip. So what I do is when this hand is going for the pistol, the other hand just kind of comes back into my upper, uh, upper belly, lower belly belt area, something like that. And I, I can just keep it out of the way so that when I get past, now I come up from the bottom and I'm building my grip right here. At this point, I'm already, my eyes are already on the target because I've been, I've been uh, when I'm not doing a video, I've already looked at and I've seen where my target is. I go to draw my pistol, my hands come together, and now I've got a direct line of sight from my eyeball to where I want to aim. And as I present the pistol out, I build my grip with this hand and I'm aligning my sights as it goes out, and then I'm, I'm lined up, my, my uh, sight picture and my sight alignment's good. I put my hand, put my finger on my trigger, and break the shot. Okay, that's what that looks like. So, a couple things to think about here. As we join our hands together, I already know where I'm going. What we want is to come in, and I don't care if you do this from down here or up here. I, I, I don't really necessarily say I think we should, you know, line it up on our eyeball and like push it forward. That's a little bit excessive, um, kind of silly. But what we're looking for is to take this pistol when it comes out and I get two hands on it, we want it to go from here as it presents out and it's gonna intersect that line of sight from my eyeball to the target. We don't want the rear sights to go up and break the plane over the top of the front sight. So we're not doing this and we're not doing this or we're not coming from the bottom all the way up. So what I, what I mean in real time is I'm not joining my hands together here and then coming out and presenting this up like that because that's probably three times the distance my gun has to travel than if I just start here and go straight out. S same thing if I start here and I go up over the top and bring it down like this, I'm still, this arc of movement is way longer than just straight out onto the target like that. And that's kind of what we're talking about, okay? Um, so when it comes out, we put our hands together, I index on the same point I talked about in the other video. 
I build my grip right there onto the bottom of the trigger guard every single time. And then I drive it out to the target, get my sights lined up, finger on the trigger and go to town. Last but not least, when we, when we get done shooting and we go to put our holster back in our, our, our gun back in our holster, we're gonna look at the holster and look the gun back in every single time, finger off the trigger, down until it seats in place. What I don't wanna do is think I'm too cool for school and I'm doing this or whatever else. And you know, I know uh, that's just what we wanna do when we practice is, is here. If you have a shirt or a jacket, something you have to move out of the way, don't be afraid to come down there Move that fabric out of the way. We don't want something stuffed down in there. Look it back in every single time and then continue on with what you're doing. Um, so just a quick recap. I'm here standing erect or I got my rifle and I'm gonna pull my pistol out or I'm in the surrender position, whatever some of you guys do when you're training on the range, doesn't really matter. When we go to grab the pistol, I'm here, it's out. I don't flag my hand. My non-shooting hand comes from up, up from underneath. I build my grip. Present straight in the line, finger on the trigger, sights aligned, finalize my sight picture, press, 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 click, shot goes off. Wash, rinse, repeat until we eliminate the threat. When we're done, finger off the trigger, back into the holster, look it in, click it in place, good to go.